More trouble for Southwest Airlines. A plane forced to make an unplanned landing today because of a cracked window. No injuries, but it comes just two weeks after an engine blew on a Southwest jet, leaving one person dead. The plane carrying 76 passengers was traveling from Chicago to New Jersey when it was forced to land in Cleveland, where it touched down safely. Photos taken by passengers and shared online show the crack in one of the plane's windows. One of the window's multiple layers was damaged. Southwest Airlines says the cabin never lost pressure, so the oxygen mask didn't drop and the pilots did not declare an emergency before landing. It's not clear what caused the crack. The aircraft now taken out of service for maintenance review. Just last month, a Southwest Airlines plane made an emergency landing in Philadelphia after engine failure sent debris slamming into the jet, breaking a window, partially sucking a woman out of the plane. She died of her injuries. The Federal Aviation Administration has ordered inspections of more jet engines like the one that blew up. An unrelated serious crash near Savannah, Georgia today involving a military aircraft. A Puerto Rico Air National Guard transport plane crashed during a training flight. At least five people are dead. It was a non-local C-130 aircraft. We have Highway 21 from Georgia 307 all the way to Gulfstream Road that is closed, and it will be closed indefinitely. Uh, the power has been cut to the area. The trains are not running because the, the railroad, the train tracks are actually part of the incident, and it will have to be thoroughly investigated before we're able to open anything back. Amazingly, it's believed no cars were hit when the plane went down on the roadway. The plane was a weather reconnaissance aircraft used to collect data by penetrating tropical depressions, hurricanes and winter storms. The investigation into the cause of the crash could take weeks.